death battle. Kaiju, the Japanese Kaiju word for a giant monster that destroys everything around it, uh -huh. like Godzilla, the king of the monsters, uh -huh. and Gamera, the guardian of the universe. Despite being box office rivals for uh -huh. half a century, these two enormous creatures have never met uh -huh. until today. Yeah. He's whiz and I'm boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, weapons armor, and skills, skills to find out who would, would win, win a, a death, death battle. battle. The year was 1954, less than a decade after Little Boy and Fat Man had decimated Japan. The nuclear age had begun. As the United States tested their shiny new hydrogen bombs across the Pacific, one of them woke something up. Uh -huh. Godzilla, the radioactive rampaging savior slash destroyer of Japan. Mutated by nuclear energy, Godzilla stands over 300 feet tall and weighs 90,000 tons. He is an unstoppable force of nature. Yeah. And for some reason, Godzilla has made Japan his personal playground and has been stomping through it for 60 years. Yeah. Couldn't he have picked on some other country? <laughs> Godzilla's radioactive mutation leaves everything in his wake contaminated. Water, plants, even people. Godzilla's presence alone turns a city block completely uninhabitable. Like that noisy upstairs neighbor, or people who let their dogs shit in your front lawn. <laughs> but Godzilla does not simply walk past his enemies to destroy them. His strength is insane. He once lifted and threw his arch rival, Kaiser Ghidorah, who weighs 100,000 freaking tons. He channels this strength through his claws, teeth, tail, and epic gravity defying drop kicks. <laughs> uh. Hilarious abilities aside, Godzilla would not be such a legendary kaiju without some serious firepower. He can emit atomic energy from his body for a short-range nuclear pulse. Or fire his signature atomic breath, a goddamn laser beam of pure radiation. That's like microwaving at least a hundred balls of tinfoil. <laughs> well, give or take a few million. That's so funny. Atomic breath. The comic, the iconic, iconic That's why I love Godzilla. I think I already watched Godzilla. The Atomic time. Breath can melt, burn, or blow up just about anything. And you know it just can't smell good. I mean, that's a lot of fish. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. That right there is Zilla, the bastardized and shamed American yeah. version that Toho literally bought the rights to and completely rebranded just to murder on screen. <laughs> Take that, America. And that was just the real Godzilla's standard atomic breath. Yep. After absorbing uh -huh. a giant pterodactyl soul. Yeah. Okay. okay. He gained the power to boost atomic his breath, breath to the red spiral breath, ray. Nuclear pulse, and attacked so deadly, it only took a one. few blasts to obliterate power, the more powerful, powerful clone of himself. Godly space strength Godzilla. can breathe under what? Space water. Godzilla? Yes, space Godzilla's a thing. Moving on. Space Godzilla. Uh -oh. Godzilla's cell structure can quickly regenerate from all manner of wounds. And despite being vulnerable to man-made electricity, he possesses magnetic properties. Like a lightning rod, he can attract thunderbolts from the sky and use nature's power uh -huh. to enhance his own ability. Or turn himself into a giant living magnet. Magnets, how do they even work? Well, believe it or not, that isn't the weirdest thing that Godzilla can do. If Big G needs to get somewhere quick, he bends over, charges up, and does this. Let's go. Well, at least Japan is. Creative? Wait, can that even happen? Yeah. Scaling to the present to actually lift his body means the atomic breath must have a force of over 328 trillion psi. Uh -huh. That's the equivalent of one trillion riot control fire hoses, wow. enough to wrap around the numbers. earth 38,000 times. 38,000 times. Godzilla has 44 Seven. known victories, Seven. largely Seven. due to his Seven. insane Seven. durability. Surviving escape a black He's hole. fallen into a volcano, survived a black hole, and tanked a meteorite uh -huh. point blank 
without a scratch. Uh, but despite popular belief, Godzilla is not invincible. Light, his really regeneration so takes time, time his speed is lacking, lacking and, and despite having two brains, brains one, one in his skull and the other where his tail meets his torso, I'm he's I'm pretty sure. darn clumsy. Yep. Where were you on that one, <laughs> Asprey? Yeah, he, he officially lost a fight against King Kong and he's even died in four separate films. Jeez. But Godzilla's victories definitely outweigh his failures. There's a good reason they call him the king of the monsters. I think Godzilla is going to win. Because I love Godzilla. I used to watch Godzilla. Right? The year was 1965. The apex I don't know, of the space I don't know any about Gamera. Technology was advancing yeah, further and really faster watched. than ever before. Gamera but before. no one could have anticipated the bioengineered marvel hidden beneath the waves. Eons ago, the ancient people of Atlantis learned how to construct life and foolishly decided to play God. But instead of creating something safe like a dog or a bunny, they created giant flying laser shooting murder birds. Surprise, surprise, they couldn't be controlled and they turned 100% of Atlantis into oceanfront property. So, what was their solution to counter these giant destructive monsters? I don't know. Why another giant destructive of course, monster, of course? Gamera, guardian of the universe and friend to all wow. children. Oh, you're 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 Gamera doesn't hurt no, 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 Friend to all children. That's a terrible, yeah, that's title. A terrible title. How about Gamera, the flying, fire-breathing ninja turtle of doom? That's <laughs> actually not far off. For a 260-foot, 10,000-ton turtle, Gamera is quite agile. Yeah. <laughs> His arsenal includes two huge tusks, twin elbow spikes, and a fire breath so strong it can be Man used underwater. Like despite being, three. you know, so. fire. <laughs> Technically, it's highly concentrated plasma. plasma, the fourth state of matter. The hottest plasma ever created by man exceeded 3.6 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. Mm -hmm. Gamera's fireballs can burn through practically anything. And when he's not spitting hot fire, he fucking eats it. It's true. A fiery four-course meal can quickly oh, heal no. and re-energize him. Oh, no. That's bad. Naturally, as a giant me. turtle monster, no, no. he can retract his limbs and head into his shell for extra defense. Of course he's a turtle. And then fire the rocket jets me. out of the holes and frickin' fly! What the fuck is this? Yeah, and what why is can't that? my turtle do that? Someone once told Someday, me Mr. the best Snappy. defense Someday. is the, the, the best offense is a good defense. <laughs> I don't know what Gamera's fighting yet. Gamera can fly at speeds breaching Mach 3, <laughs> over 2,200 yeah, miles it. per hour. That's faster than the world record holding SR-71 Blackbird. But how the hell does he know where he's going? Man. And more importantly, how does he not puke his guts out? The Atlanteans built Gamera using mana, an ethereal energy force connecting all things, places, and people. Everything mm -hmm. has a finite pool of mana, which can be measured using a Sega Dreamcast. Uh, but it still can't play DVDs. Yeah. A person's mana is dependent on how much influence uh. and authority they possess over others. As Gamera literally holds the world's fate in his claws, his mana levels are off the charts. Mm -hmm. Gamera can manipulate his mana in combat, which is useful when you've lost your arm and need to give your enemy a kaiju-sized falcon punch. Yeah. I'm not Captain Falcon, by the way. Fuck yeah! <laughs> and if Gamera ever runs low on mana, he can summon more from the Earth itself. Manipulation. I don't. I don't think. I don't think his mana manipulation is going to do anything against Godzilla. The only thing that's going to do him. is just Gamera is him. fast enough to catch a missile sure. going Mach 10. Capable of flying through outer space and tough enough to survive a nuclear explosion which leveled the entire city of Sendai. As Sendai is about 152 miles across, yeah, this explosion cool. must have yielded nearly 112 megatons of force. That's insane. Gamera has a fierce will to fight. No matter how much pain he's in, he'll keep pushing forward for the win. And he's not just determined, he's actually quite brilliant. Mm -hmm. He tactically seeks to exploit enemy yeah. weaknesses and is apparently smart enough to repair an alien spacecraft. He does machines. Mm -hmm. But despite his intelligence, he is not infallible. Ah. 
Gamera's supposedly impenetrable defenses have been pierced before. And remember, Gamera is explicitly the guardian of Earth, which does not necessarily include humanity. In fact, Gamera fears mankind may one day become the Earth's greatest enemy. Yeah. I knew he sounded too good to be true. He's a hippie turtle. And yet, Gamera has a strange fondness for children. Nice green screen um, there. Gamera! Gamera! He will bring kids to his bed, touch them like no <laughs> other can. Please don't tell on Gamera! No, really. Actually, he sacrificed his life to save children on multiple occasions, even used his ultimate self-destruct move long. all for the safety of innocent children. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think it's a, I think it's a go. All right, the yep, I'm gonna go with Godzilla. Let's end this based on everything I saw, even though Gamera has a few advantage. I still want Godzilla to win this time. Let's see. I hope Godzilla wins, otherwise I'm going to be disappointed if he doesn't win. Of course he knows him in the water, just like in the movie. Wow, it's quite surprising we used to be animation. We used to be pixel animation. That's quite animation. Yep, this time she's not gonna stop Godzilla. Yep. Yeah, he's making the whole city person to play again again. Oh, there's Gamera. Here he comes! And... Fight! <laughs> Gamma's gonna use a skyscraper or a building. It's not gonna do anything. Uh -oh. oh! That's gonna hurt. Ow! I thought that had butt. That's ridiculous. Yeah, fight back, Godzilla. Oh, there you go. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Use your atomic ray. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, of course, I remember. The only thing is the generation. The generation can be the same. Oh, fire. Oh! Ah! You gotta just, yes, come on, do the drop kick, Godzilla. I'm counting on you. I believe in you. Let's go! <laughs> this guy is so intense. Of course, he is attacking him into a cell. Of course, he's gonna fly away. I don't think, I don't think Daniel's uh, repeating styles is gonna work on Godzilla either. Because that's Daniel's weakness as well. Obviously.
What's Gamera doing? Gamera currently left in his face, but... Wow, he's gonna send him back to Earth. Blasting off the face and then send him back to Earth. I don't know what his plan is. Is this really his plan to be Godzilla? It's ridiculous. Well, use your electric pole. Sorry for that. Godzilla's sheer size and power won this bout. Yeah. He's nine times heavier. Plus, while Gamera tanked a city-busting nuke and almost died, Godzilla tanked a similar explosion from a meteorite and didn't even flinch. Gamera's shell was once pierced by Virus, a physically weaker foe. There's no doubt Godzilla could overpower this giant turtle. Hell, he's strong enough to match goddamn Thor. And since Godzilla's atomic breath is composed of pure radiation, not fire, Gamera could not feed off of it. But most importantly, Gamera has a history of winning through retreating. He usually takes one round to analyze his foe and another to win the day. On paper, this sounds like a smart idea. But unfortunately uh -huh. for Gamera, Godzilla don't play like that. Yeah. Looks like Godzilla put Gamera through living... Shell? Shell. I guess The so. winner is Godzilla. Let's go. So, that was that, was, that battle was fr freaking awesome. I, re I, I might react to the next death battle. Maybe. So let me know, though. I may be reacting to Captain... Uh, Batman vs. Captain America, but it's actually not in YouTube, so I might as well watch on their website. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone.